Hello and welcome back again to Totally Epic Pool Cleaners, except this time we have a watch. I don't know why I named this Totally Epic Pool Cleaners. So, you may be wondering why I have a watch? Well, this watch right here can change realities and let you warp to whatever reality you want. It's like that reality shifting trend on TikTok, except this right here actually works. Now, you may be wondering to yourself, how do you, how does this thing function? Well, all you gotta do is put on the watch, and then you think of your reality, and when you think of your reality, you tap on the watch. Is this supposed to spark? Well, that doesn't seem like it worked very well, and when did they get Attack on Titan for the PS4? Oh boy, do I love Attack on Titan. <laughs> it's a series created by Hajime Yama in 2009, and since has made many cry for hours on end. The series started out as a manga, and in 2013 got an anime series, which in my opinion is just as amazing. But the part that no one seems to talk about as much is that it also has its fair share of video games spanning from meh to actually pretty good. The one I'm going to be playing is simply just titled Attack on Titan, and you can tell which one it is because the spine of the case looks like it's made in Microsoft Word. So how about I shut up and just play the game? The game starts off explaining how each wall is separated forming regions, Maria, Rose, and Cena. This is done to protect people from the titans which are lurking inside the wall. Now, I don't really want to get too in-depth with the plot since it's the exact same as the first season, so I'll be focusing on the gameplay here. So in this game you play as a bunch of characters such as a kid with anger issues, the person who simps for the main character, uh, this guy, and that one character that everyone simps for. Now the gameplay here is actually pretty straightforward. What you got here is an anime game that isn't another arena fighter which is actually pretty surprising. It's an action game where you get multiple types of missions, one where you have to take out a certain amount of titans as quickly as possible, ones where you have to take out the abnormal titans, ones where you have to protect someone, and ones where you get Aaron to stop pointing at the beach. I really like how fast paced and satisfying the movement is. When you're on the ground it's hard to see and is pretty bad, but the moment you start flying around with the ODM gear it is amazing. But the moment you start flying around with the ODM gear it is amazing. But the moment you start flying around the ODM gear, it's amazing. I've never had issues controlling it, and aiming and attacking titans is really good. I really like how when you take out a titan, it's pretty rewarding, because if you get a perfect hit, it plays a flashy animation, and it's just really satisfying to pull off. Before I continue praising this random licensed game because I hardly play good games, I should probably bring up the negatives, which are there sadly are quite a few of. First of all, you may have noticed I haven't talked about the titan gameplay in this game, and that's because it really breaks the pace of the game. If you ask me, they should have just separated it into a different campaign, but that's just my dumb opinion. The titans are just so slow to control, which I would have been fine with, but it doesn't help that the combat isn't fun or rewarding in any way. I'd say the good thing about it is that the titan gameplay doesn't appear super often, so you don't have to worry about taking up a huge fraction of the game. I would also say that the game can get pretty repetitive since there isn't much scenery change. It's mainly just grass and town, which I can get by since it's meant to be accurate to the series, but the missions are the issue. There just isn't a lot of variety to the missions, it's mainly just the same few things, so playing this game for long periods of time is honestly really difficult for someone like me. Now these drawbacks don't make it a bad game by a long shot, they are just small nitpicks I have, they kinda just stop an already great game from being amazing. Overall, I do like this game and would love to see how the sequel, conveniently named Attack on Titan 2 is. The first one already has a lot going for it, and I'm excited to see how they expanded it on the sequel. So I just say, if you see it and it's a worthy price, go for it. This game is really fun, it just don't binge play it. Overall, pretty solid video game. Oh, yo dude, it's me from a parallel universe. You from, I, I don't know how to explain, but you gotta hear me out. This is really important news, and you really gotta listen. Yeah, what's up? super convenient clone of me that was made at the beginning of the video. 
Whatever you do, avoid touching bad video games at all costs, or else you will turn into a titan, okay? Please, You mean like these two cops? <laughs> I never expected the day to come where I would have to do this. Photoshop attack! Oh wait, no, I have to. Photoshop attack! That's not very cool. <sighs> you? What? What are? What are you? Me? 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 Was it me or? What? What are you doing here, sir? I don't. I don't think I'm going to. You're going. I. This is really. This is really confusing me with this whole parallel universe thing. Sorry. Uh, I don't. I don't think you're gonna make it, man, uh, so, in the most respectful way I can, what's your last dying wish? <laughs> to... <laughs> to live. Oh. Okay. So, uh, yeah, uh, I lived. 